Package showed up from Go Power Sports today. Opening it up. Three oh eight cam for a GX three ninety or four twenty phone. Billet rod for a GX three forty three ninety stock length. And the bag full of 50 pound valve springs. Let's get started. Alright, this is going to be the 440 hop up and rebuild. Uh, we have some parts from Go Power Sports. We have a billet rod, we have a 308 cam, uh, 50 pound valve springs, a 34 millimeter Makuni, an intake. Um, and a header, and then we also have the secondary coal pack since it's going to be an off road build. Uh, this is these uh, Duramax and 420s and Honda GX 390s only come with one set of coils, charging coils, and we're going to put dual charging coils on it and show it to you. All right, because we wanted electric start and we want it to have uh, off road lights and stuff like that for an off road car. <coughs> Here's the bare block. I just stuck the crankshaft in it, but we'll pull that back out just for you for a second. If you can see this vein here, we milled that down in the bridge port off camera. Bridge port's right over there. And that's so that the uh, ARP rod bolt will clear the crankshaft. I've already blown the block out and the exterior of the block off with air. Blown the crankshaft out, the bearing out, slides in there. Um, next, we're going to get out the uh, billet rod and uh, pre-torque it, like the specs say, to 26 foot-pounds. Again, we're not going to be zinging this. You hand me paper towel, please. We're not going to be zinging this past 5,500 RPMs on any regular basis, if at all. This is a factory new build with uh, brand new pistons and everything. That's why we're also not using a billet flywheel. Always pay attention to the orientation. The triangle is pointing down, and that is the long side of the rod. So that's how we need to install the new billet rod as well. Here's the new billet rod and new piston and just a homemade type soft jaw clamp getting ready to break the bolts apart and then retorque them um, as per spec and then to reassemble it back in the engine <coughs>
Cleanliness is your friend on these little engines. This is a vintage oiler from my wife's grandfather. Works really well. I just keep HD 30 weight in it. It's actually royal purple. Okay. And it's with the arrow pointing down. We're going to clock our rings. Lots of people have different ways of doing this. Typically I do it the 120 degree style. Some do 180, some do 90. Make sure you oil the cylinder. Piston inside. I already clocked the rings. Make sure that the triangle is pointing downward. Start it in the hole with the skirt. Make sure that your ring compressor is seated. Nice. the hole nice without any hard obstructions. Make sure everything still looks clean, everything looks dust free. Spin your crankshaft around to your rod gently. Here you install the rod cap with the oil slinger down. back and forth from each side to the other so we don't put the rod cap in a bind. Make sure she still turns over nice. foot pounds and go in five pound increments till we get to 26. This is a eight millimeter 12 point on the ARC rod bolts. ARP bolts. Next, we're going to put the K9 
cam followers back in. Again, this is the new engine, so these are all new parts. But I'm still cleaning them anyway. It's assembly loop and royal purple. In case you're wondering. This is a 308. I have no idea how well this will work in an off road application, but I watch red beards and I watch cars and cameras and a few others, and they all seem to use this in the big box. At least red beards. Actually, I don't remember cartridge. Yet. Well packaged. Let me go power sports. Okay. Ooh, what brake cleaning? It's packing Cosmolino. Use a new rag. It's not dirty. Set it up with the timing dots. I'll show you. <coughs> Excuse me. for the bearings, gear set, the crank, and reinstall. This also has a timing set on the gears. Make it the dot. Turn over this way without losing the camshaft. Pass the rod into the back bearing and make sure that your camshaft, I'm sorry, your uh, crankshaft dots line up. Just like that. <laughs> 